Hey everyone, welcome back. Look what we got here. These are Kenyan sand boas. And uh, this little lady we've been waiting to... <laughs> well, she's been prepped to give birth any day now for quite a while. And it looks like it has happened. Look at them little babies. So, got my work cut out for me. It's been a long day. It's about to get a lot longer. Let's take a look. Are you done yet, hon? Oh yeah, she's all done. That's just dirt right there. So what I'm going to do is take her out, give her a little bath, get these babies sorted out, and go from there. Okay, so what we have here is both mom and dad are albinos, or amelanistic, just means they don't have melanin in them. And both of the parents were possibly het for anery. So we're going to go through these. All the babies will be albinos. Now when you put albino and anery together, you get something called snow. So if there's any snow babies in here, that's proven that uh, both parents carry anery. But it doesn't look like it so far. But let's start with Miss Sandy here. Here's, here's the proud mama. She's looking a little flat. She had a lot of babies to get out. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop her in this little lukewarm bath. And she's just going to hang out there for a few minutes. This is going to help rinse that mama smell off of her. That'll encourage her to go back uh, eating sooner than later. I'm just going to pop her out of the way now. And now we have this little container here. Oh, I'm making my clipboard all wet. Apparently that bin leaked. That's all right. So we're just going to go through here and we're going to find all of our babies hiding in the dirt. Now they are called sand boas, and you might have noticed we don't have them on sand. Uh, names are just names, and they don't actually do terribly well on just sand. So what we use is cocoa core. It holds a little bit of humidity, which these guys, they do need a little bit of that. Um, so let's just, what we're going to do is we're going to sift through. Let's start where we know there obviously is babies. So you see this little mound of dirt with a face in there? This is still in, well, essentially the, the, the uh, egg sack, kind of. These guys will, it's not live bearing in the same way as mammals, so much as they have a little, uh, they, they keep the eggs in their bodies, but since it's in them, they don't need a shell. So this guy just has to break out of that yet, but he's pretty responsive and doing well. So we're just going to pop him there. I keep saying he, but it could go either way. And now we're over here. We got all these little faces poking out. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh! I'm mostly just getting your arm, to be honest. Oh, so you see this one right here? Also too much. Mm. <laughs> so you see this one right here, and you see this one right here. Jesus. <laughs> now there's a bit of a difference in color. You do have a zoom function on there, eh? Well, you're not even zoomed in, oh. so I gotta zoom out? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'll just... Hold on a sec, guys. We're just going to put you on widescreen so we have a better uh, better shot of what's happening. There we better. go. That's a little bit better. Oh, no. Our little guy's getting away. So this is good news. This is really good news. If we look at this one, I don't know if you can see it on the camera very well, but one of these guys is a little bit yellowy. And that's that yellow is going to increase and increase. That's an albino right there. But if we look at this baby right here, this all white. Oh, look. He's coming out of the little egg sack there. He's, he's breaking free. I'm just going to leave him to his own devices on that. And he actually is one of these as well, by the looks of it, which is really, really cool. So despite the fact that both parents were only possibly het anery, we've lucked out. They both do carry the trait, because this right here is a snow. You have albino, which takes away all of your dark colors, all of your melanin. And then you have uh, anatheristic, and that's going to take away basically everything else color-wise. And that's going to leave you a little white sand boa like this. He looks pink now, but as he grows and those scales thicken out and he has his first few sheds, he's going to get whiter and whiter and whiter until he's basically pure white. So that's actually super exciting that the parents have proven out. So let's, uh, let's find the rest of our little snakes here. Uh, we had a clutch of these earlier this year and there was nine babies. So let's see, let's see if we beat that. Thank you. 
So there we go, we have one, we have two, we have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight babies. So one short of our clutch earlier this year, but a very nice, well, I don't know if you'd call it a clutch so much as a brood, uh, but I'm very happy about the snow proving out. So we'll just take a quick look at adult examples here. This is Gozo, this is the father to these little babies. And let's see if I can find him in here. There he is. So there's Mr. Gozo. The albinos are gonna grow up, they're gonna look like this, basically yellow and orange. And then in the wild, when you find a Kenyan sand boa, they're gonna look like this. Now this one's a little testy, so I'm gonna use something other than my fingies to find them. There he is. So this is what they look like in the wild. You can see they're a lot darker. They're still producing that melanin and the albino takes that away. And if we hang tight right here, just a quick sec, I am just gonna grab a snow who's a little bit older that we can take a brief look at. Now this is what these snows are gonna look like in a little bit here. Not quite like this. This is actually a snake that we got from a friend of ours. Um, this, Sandy Hill Reptiles. That's right, Sandy Hill <laughs> Reptiles. She makes really nice sand boas. And this is a snow, but also a genetic stripe, so you can't really see the genetic stripe because that stripe is taken away by the uh, snow. Uh, and all these little brown spots are called paradox. These babies won't have that, but this is coloration-wise an example of what they're uh, going to wind up looking like. So you can see the contrast there. They get a little bit whiter, and this will just get whiter and whiter with age as well. So that's what we got for today's babies. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys. And we're back again. I figured I'd check in on Sandy to see how she was doing. And some more babies in here. So I guess she was still hiding a few in there. So let's keep going. We got another albino. Another albino. see one here yep albino there I mean granted these will all be albino uh, let's see if there's anybody else yeah there's another one yeah, another snow nice Well, I think that's it. I think we got them all this time. <laughs> nope. I see movement. There's another little albino. Man, this lady had a lot of babies. A lot more than her nine earlier this year. Well, there it is. We got them all. Let's take a look-see here. So here we are, I got them on wet paper towel just because a lot of these guys still have a little umbilical cord attached to them. Um, just like this little fella here. And I want to keep that nice and damp till it falls off naturally and then they'll continue from there. But yeah, we got, uh, well, eight earlier and I think we just found four? Was it five more? Probably four? Anyways, I'll check it in editing. Anyways, there we go. That's it this time. We'll see you next time.